from the Boston Museum of Science. SciTech Today on NECN. Well, who can forget one year ago a major ice storm crippling New England? We are no stranger to ice storms around here. Freezing rain, coating tree limbs, power lines and roads. But a new anti-icing technology may soon make ice storms more bearable. Nanotechnology correspondent Kareen Tate joins us live from the Museum of Science in Boston. Kareen, looks like you're bundled up and ready for the next storm. I sure am. I have my scraper scraper, and my ice melter all set to go. So tell, right. us, tell us a little bit about this coating and how it works. Well, as I've been preparing for these famous New England winters, uh, I've learned that freezing rain is actually much more destructive than snow or sleet. That's because freezing rain falls as uh, liquid water that freezes on contact with solid surfaces, coating everything with a thick layer of ice that can be so hard to remove. So the key to solving the problem is making sure that ice doesn't have a chance to form in the first place, so you don't even need these. And a chemical engineer named D. Gao and his team at the University of Pittsburgh have developed a nanoparticle coating that prevents this ice buildup. On the bare metal plate, ice forms instantly as soon as the supercooled water hits it but the plate with the nanoparticle coating repels the water. The ice you're beginning to see is just piling up from the untreated pan at the bottom. While the ice sticks to the uncoated plate, with the coated one, the ice slides right off. The research team also tested the coating on a satellite dish outside in the freezing rain. Ice completely covered the untreated left half of the dish, but the right side with the anti-icing coating is completely ice-free. So with this type of coating, um, it's an example of a super hydrophobic coating, meaning it's super water repellent and ice doesn't stick to it. It's best to actually see it in action. I have this bare metal plate and you can see that the water sticks to the metal plate and the surface gets wet. But with uh, this plate, the nanoparticle coating repels the water and the water just beads up and rolls right off. So you saw in the video, the anti-icing, um, the water rolls off before an ice crystal even has a chance to form. So it seems like there's all kinds of different applications this, this coating could have. How soon could it be available on the market? Well, Dr. Gao said that a number of companies have contacted him about commercializing this product. And as you can imagine, there are a lot of deals to be made when a new technology like this is ready to come on the market. He's mum on the details, but said we should see something pretty soon. All right, Kareen Tate, thanks so much for joining us this afternoon live from the Museum of Science Boston. Thank you, Beth. And remember to join us every Wednesday night at 5.30 and Thursday morning at 9 o'clock for SciTech Today. Tomorrow, new research challenging some basic things we thought we knew about dinosaurs.